Look at all that blue sky that we're getting to enjoy here this afternoon. Lots of sun out there. Great conditions as far as dry air. And that means, of course, the fog that we had last week is not plaguing us today. And we're looking at some bright conditions. However, it's a typical February day where we have that bright blue sky. We know that usually means that we also have some pretty frigid conditions and it is cold out there. You'll want to make sure you're ready for this. If you haven't been out yet today, uh, make sure you're layering up. We're looking at temperatures up to the north that are still in the single digits after dipping down into the teens below in some places this morning. We're at one degree currently in Foston. In Grand Forks, we're at seven degrees right now. It's 10 in Fargo, doing a little bit better in the south and down to the southwest, especially where Jamestown is at 18 degrees. Wind chills are below zero up north, so we're looking at some wind chills that are going to be uh, feeling a little tougher there. Southern Valley, uh, not so bad. In fact, some places not really having much of an effect from the wind because it is so light in most parts of the valley. What I do want to point out is, is that we're starting to see it make a little bit of a southerly turn, uh, and that's going to continue here as we work our way through the afternoon, and eventually we'll see these winds increase, and that will lead to uh, some warmer air starting to move into the valley and that'll help things along for a warm up. So checking out that radar and satellite map again, you can see anywhere where we have that that static white not moving. Uh, that's where we've got the snowpack that the camera from the satellite seeing. You can see upper and lower Red Lake here uh, and then down to the south. There is some movement. So that's where we have some clouds. And in addition to those clouds, we're also seeing some blue indicating the potential for a few flakes on the very southwestern corner of our viewing area in West Western parts of Dickey County and that's moving to the south and east. So you may see some flakes there for a very short period of time before that moves on. Otherwise, everywhere else we're looking at some sun and some pretty good conditions. And if you're in one of those areas that has a little bit of cloud cover that shouldn't last all afternoon, you'll get some sunshine too. So heading through the rest of the day today, expect to have plenty of sunshine again in the valley with temperatures that rise a little bit more into the afternoon hours. But generally speaking, we're looking at a cold day, maybe a few degrees warmer than where we are now heading into tonight once that sun sets our temperatures start to drop however around that same time we'll start to see that wind pick up and that will kind of counteract that temperature drop because it's that south wind that south air moving in and typically that's warmer air uh, taking over here so we're looking at that temperature drop eventually stopping or even our numbers actually rising overnight. So as we're starting the day tomorrow morning, we're looking at a, a milder start than we were at today. Single digits to some teens above zero to start off your day tomorrow. The one caveat with that, of course, is that the wind will be stronger. So your wind chills will be lower as we're working our way up to some milder temperatures. We'll see those winds out of the south or southwest gusting into the 20s to about 30 miles per hour during the day. And that will drive up those temperatures. So by the time we get into the afternoon, we're looking at some 20s for us around the valley. Again, still breezy. Clouds start to move in and we're looking at the approach of our next chance for some snow late Wednesday night, more likely into Thursday, seeing that snow uh, take over. Should be very light stuff, but still, if we get, even get a little coating, we know what that means. Roads will get slick uh, for the day. And then in Friday, we'll cool things back down shortly after that system. But looks like this weekend right back up into the 20s. Right now, keeping things dry. One of our models kind of hinting at a little bit of light snow this weekend. But uh, we'll keep things dry. Maybe wishful thinking will keep it at bay. I like to, well, <laughs> I don't know. Then it would be 70 and sunny right now if right? that works, I suppose. That's a good point. All right. Thank you, Lisa.